Hey guys, what's up? By Sectantron here from Clash of Clans Manual, here with my next war recap video coming from Three Star Union, and we've been level two for I think a few wars. Uh, it's hard to level up with the 10 v 10 wars, but getting there. Just took out the Irish Hammers, 25 to 11. Uh, pretty easy war. Everything went well. We'll look at a few attacks today, and as you can see, uh, no one really attacked number two except except for me which was a fail, but everything else was pretty much taken care of and got, I think, 7 of the 10 bases 3 starred. So, nice job to everyone at 3 Star Union, and we'll take a look at a few of these attacks, starting with Jehovah. Okay, so we're looking at a drag attack here, and he really exploits the air defense placement. I mean, pretty much a preemie base, uh, expo pointed down, uh, air defense is all kind of on the outside, and we'll fast forward to when he starts. But they does a good job taking advantage of that. Uh, dragons under rage take out that air defense, making their way in. Then this has a few extra to take out the side air defenses because, you know, they're not that high level, but they can be very detrimental to your dragons if they're shooting at them for a long period of time. So it gets three of the four out right away. Uh, King goes down, starting to clean up some of these trash on the outside, keep the dragons going to the middle. Uh, making the way in has a rage and a heal, which we'll use right here. Like that heal, uh, getting a lot of drags in that radius. They're all healed because uh, for your spells, you want to get it affecting as many drags as possible. I like how he didn't drop the rage because the rage will just move them out of the heal quick. So if you're going to use a rage and a heal on your dragons, use them at different times. Uh, so that way you get the benefit of the heal for a long period of time because the rage is just going to move them quicker through it and they won't be healed back to full health. So, uh, that being said, plenty of drags up. That air defense won't be a problem. And we'll go to times two as he makes his way around the base. Air defense goes down, a few archer towers, and that'll do it. And then obviously the trash buildings. But pretty much everything's going down. Good job, Jehovah. Six-star war. Uh, keep up the good work. Okay. Moving along, the next base we're looking at is going to be... Their number. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna do Holy, uh, taking on their number eight. So this was a core cool attack. We'll take a look at it. And three lightning spells all go down that on the um, air defense there. Just taking that out. Now he's gonna drop a giant and a CC four balloons, and those balloons are gonna do a ton of work on this base. Level 6 balloons uh, at this low Town Hall 7 level are huge, hugely helpful. Uh, they take out defenses with one drop, and then obviously they have a ton of hit points in comparison to like the low damage dealing wizard towers and stuff. And then this was kind of cool. It was almost like how you see my surgical hog attacks, or maybe a go la loon. Just kind of dropping giants and wrapping his barge around the base. Taking out that air defense before it can do too much damage to his balloons. I uh, still has one up that'll crash right in, right there, but wrapping around the base, just barbarian, some archers, giants, uh, wizards, some wall breakers, because all the defenses are kind of on the outside, so he's able to basically just go around, take out each defense. I think there was a hole inside this base, he chose not to drop anything there, but king is still up, making his way around, and giants, archers, everything's going through, taking out the space. Uh, Wizard Tower is really the last threat, just because of the splash damage, but I think it'll lock on to like, the king or a giant here, and his archers and wizards are going to shoot it down in just a minute. So, good job uh, to Holy, and we'll fast forward as this cleanup process goes underway. Giant out in front tanking, and the Wizard Tower goes down. Uh, that's all the splash damage. Uh, go times two, because it's just a Tesla and a cannon, which he has plenty of troops to take care of. Uh, that cannon goes down, and all his troops will make their way over there and take out that Tesla. So, awesome job, Holy. I'm not sure if he had a three star or a six star war, but this was definitely a nice attack, and we'll move on. Okay, looking at KFS Junior on number nine. Like this, uh, nothing in the CC. These guys didn't fill up their CCs if you didn't tell already, which was kind of. Unfortunate, don't get as much practice, but we'll take an easy win. Uh, Wizard just going down, taking out that army camp. 
The big group of giants, no button left in the giant bomb there. And he'll drop a few wall breakers, gonna let everything on into that first compartment. I uh, think they they got splash damage, but the giants bust their way through. Get into that first air defense, that's pretty important because he has a bunch of balloons he wants to deploy at some point. Uh, every, giants are tanking, wizards shooting down defenses. Has a healer, he's gonna drop behind them. More wall breakers, making sure they get into all those compartments, take out these defenses. And now he's going in on the other side with a few giants. Then a CC full of hogs. That was a nice touch. Getting in, uh, taking out the air defense. And it's a good thing he dropped those giants because they triggered a giant bomb, which could have hurt his hogs. Uh, has a heal for them. They'll stay up, take out a few more defenses. And it is over. These, you know, only level 3 balloons, but they still can pack a punch in these big groups. They're going in, taking out the last defenses. Still has like two hogs up. And that archer tower will go down. And then that wizard tower. So everything's down. Pretty much good job, KFS Jr. Uh, another awesome attack we'll take a look at in just a minute. Because he had a nice six star war with some amazing attacks at this level. Uh, fast forward. Has a rage in the bag. Doesn't even need it. Just uh, demolished this base. Okay. Everything's just about cleaned up, and we can move on, take a look at his other attack in this war, which I think might have been uh, even more of a killing. Just murdered this next base. We'll take a look now. Uh, it's their number 10, I believe. Yep. So, kind of a bad layout. Uh, obviously, that air defense right there is the, and then one right here, so not going to be able to defend against a whole lot of air attacks. So you can see 14 balloons in the bag, just a free air defense, drop some archers, and then I believe he dropped some more archers to take out this one, or just giants I guess, uh, taking out that next air defense. And from here, a few wall breakers, letting uh, the giants into that first compartment, and he has a healer for them too, which he'll drop, wizards backing it up, and more wall breakers to get to the middle of that base. So, start to distract those archer towers, uh, just to make it a little bit easier for his balloons. Because he's just going to start dropping them now. Uh, get all these free cannons, free stuff, and then a CC full of uh, level 6 balloons. Like I said, that just wrecks these low-level bases. They cannot handle it. And I like how this uh, heal is going to include his giants and the balloons. So they won't take any wizard tower damage. And even has a rage for them. Not even really needed. But it's just going to speed up the process a little bit. So just loons making their way through, demolishing this base. It's always nice to have a town hall. Uh, nine who can donate to the lower level players because it makes a huge difference at that level. And if you look at how many balloons he has left once these archer towers goes down, pretty amazing. Uh, not the best cleanup troops, but has some archers he spreads out, and everything will get taken care of and get the three star. So six star war for KFS. That's nice. Always nice to see. Uh, good job, man. All right, fast forward. Get rid of these twenty seconds as that town hall goes down. And that's it, guys. Hope you liked it. Um, once again, Three Star Union is pretty doing pretty well. We'll take a look at our war log real quick. Uh, three war win streak. Had some close ones, but getting the job done. And hopefully, we are set for another win. But level three clan we're facing. We'll see. We're level two, so make sure to join if you're still looking for a clan. Uh, welcoming pretty much all levels. So we'll love to have you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, though, and I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.